all right guys check it out we got the stand completely done in fact i ended up making another one so we actually have three of these now total each holding two panels and as you can see i have four panels back here the two right here three right there and one on the porch so we are currently running all 10 panels on my solar power system which is awesome but yeah these stands they're super easy to make and they're not super expensive i still got to finish painting this one i just ran out of paint but we got three of them done so I think I'm gonna do another two, or maybe I'll do one large one that's maybe four, not quite sure yet. I do like the idea of having two on each one because I can individually adjust where they're at. And you can see what I was talking about with the pavers. I do gotta kinda tidy up the wire a little bit, but I am super, super happy with this. It's a lot better than having them just laying in the yard, which I had them for months, and they worked fine like that, but that's not the correct way to do it. This is, in my opinion, a lot better. So we have some nice sturdy stands. They're mounted nicely, and I think it's gonna be awesome i'm getting right around three kilowatts of output at full sun so that's pretty good i probably need to go through and clean all the panels and like i said we need to focus on this next but i'm going to leave this here just for now until i can get some more materials so probably here in the next couple weeks we're probably going to build two more stands and that's it we'll be completely done and then we can work on some better wiring i need to work on a pass through to go in the house instead of using the window and that's it so that's going to do it for this small little video i just wanted to show you guys my easy simple way to do panel mounting let me know what y'all think is this going to work is this going to suck in the winter it'll be interesting because the sun is so low in the sky I will we will definitely keep track of how much power we make but as long as it's still within a realm of usability i'm not going to care too much as far as trying to adjust the angle but that's going to do it guys thank you all very much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one all right guys so in the last video i showed you guys we got some new solar panels well now i'm sick of these things being on the ground so i'm going to show you guys how i built a really nice mount to put these on and there's kind of a spoiler what the mount's going to look like i've already built one so i know what i'm doing a little bit but anyways i'm gonna go in the garage I have two of my spare panels in the garage and we're using those as mock-ups. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to build a really nice stand to put these on to keep them off the ground. So the basis of our stand is going to be some 14 gauge one inch square tubing. I chose this up because it's about $1.50 a foot so it's not extremely expensive and it's also very strong. So to start the process out I went ahead and laid two of the panels down and then I put a bar this way and a bar this way right over where the mounting holes are. That way I can put some bracketry to hold them down. So I'd say we have two pieces there, then I cut two more pieces to connect them to make a box. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I did already make the legs as well. So essentially we're gonna make a table, almost like a table with legs and everything. We're gonna gusset it to give it some strength. We're gonna add a riser on the back to give the panel some angle and that's it. There's no adjustability in this. My original goal was to make them with adjustability. That's what that was, but I ended up cutting it apart because it was too flimsy. These panels are very heavy. So I'm just gonna put these in a fixed position and that's it. We're just gonna have to see how they work in the winter and the summer. and. We're not going to get perfect output if we don't match the sun exactly, but that's okay. This system isn't, you know, I'm not 100% running my house on this, so it's, it's okay if we have a little bit of loss. Anyways, I'm going to kind of show you guys the construction process of this. I'm using a MIG welder with gas in order to weld it all together. And yeah, you don't really need a ton of equipment, just basic fabrication equipment. You could do all this with a flux core welder and an angle grinder if you're really serious about it. But I'm using a bandsaw to make my cuts. We have a sanding wheel on a die grinder over there to clean all the paint off and that's it so i'm going to show you guys the entire construction process but right now i'm just kind of cleaning and prepping my material in order to get the frame all tacked together once the frame is kind of tacked together and solid i'm going to lift the panels up off the floor put the frame down on the floor and we'll start finish welding everything and i'll show you guys all that i'll probably just put the camera up on a tripod and time lapse through it it's pretty boring but i just want to kind of show you guys because i think it came out pretty good the first one we did took us about six hours and I'm extremely happy with it. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to work. Like I said, I'm over here right now just cleaning the ends off. Using this little Milwaukee tool and a little buffing pad just to get the paint off. That way we get better welds. So I'm going to do it to all the legs. These are the legs. And then for gusseting, I'm going to use these right here. And these are going to help the legs have strength. Because if I just weld the legs straight to the frame, it's kind of flimsy because this is only 14 gauge square tubing. It's really strong, but it still has a little bit of give to it. So these are going to give it some extra support and I'll show you guys all how these are going to go on when they're all done. I did go ahead and buy some new steel that's also in the back of my truck. So I, have, I should have plenty of material to at least to build this one and then one more because I think I got to build at least two more. So you can see me doing my 45s. I'm just letting the motor pull off right now. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get to work and I'll kind of show you guys as we make some progress. Okay guys, about to tack together the basic square frame. So you measure this way and this way diagonally with your tape measure. If the measurements are the same, that means your frame is square. Also, if you place the corners, if your, if your floor, if your floor is not perfectly level, you can place pieces underneath the corners and that'll help you get the corners nice and straight. So I already did that all for a while. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these lightly tacked together. I'm not gonna burn them in all the way all at once because you don't want this thing to warp too bad. Then we're gonna get the feet attached 
and then just slowly kind of work my way around getting everything welded up. And yeah, should be pretty simple. Okay, our feet are all welded on. I got them pretty straight. Now I'm working on these gussets right here. We're gonna do one like this on each side. So I gotta make eight of those. So I have two there, two there, and I need to make two more right there. So I have one more cutting there. Just gotta measure up out of my pile of tubing, cut one more. And then that's it, just finish weld everything. It's pretty much finish welded, but we're gonna finish weld it more once we get the gussets on to keep everything from warping. Flip the table over, add the riser on the back, make the mounts for the panels, paint the whole thing, and that's it, we're done. So pretty simple, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, just because I gotta make a bunch of them. This is number two, and I think I'll do probably one more. I don't know if I have quite enough material to do one more, but I'm gonna try my best. And I think I have to go get more black paint, but so far so good. Keep it simple, don't gotta go crazy on the design. It just has to hold some panels securely. And yeah, so far so good. I'll update you guys once I get more work done. All right guys, so the solar panel stand is pretty much done. I just have to add the riser to give the panels the angle. So I'm doing that right now. And then we gotta sand and paint it and that's literally it. And then I still gotta make the brackets to hold the panels on. And I'll show you guys what those look like once I get those done. Okay. So I think I said in the last clip, this thing's pretty much done. I got all the welding done. I did go ahead and buy some aluminum strip. So the idea is to cut these to about this size pieces, put two holes, and this will create a sandwich with the solar panels and aluminum frame. And we're gonna put two bolts to clamp it to this and clamp it to the back part and that's it. And then I bought some paint as well. So I'm gonna just give, rough this thing up with a scotch pad in the backyard, of course, paint it, throw the panels on and it'll pretty much be done. So once kind of I get the, all the mounts made, I'll get it all painted, show you guys what it's all painted, and then we'll put the panels on and you guys will be able to see the final product. But simple is key here, guys. You don't want to put, put a ton of effort in time, especially if you're not sure how your design's going to go. But I'm really happy with this design. I don't think it costs a ton of money in materials, and it only took, you know, a few hours. And you could do all this at home if you had a flux core welder and an angle grinder, I promise you. You don't need no fancy tools. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of these. i got to make eight different rackets and get 16 bolts for all eight brackets and yeah, we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right, I've managed to scrounge up enough hardware for our mount. So now we're gonna head to the backyard. Luckily, the other cool thing about this design is you can actually move it by yourself. Obviously when you put panels on it, you cannot because those are extremely heavy, but I can move this completely on my own. So that's cool. So I'm gonna get this to the backyard. I'm gonna bring my scotch right, my paint. That way we can scotch it, we can get it in place, scotch it, paint it, slap the panels on and that's it, we are done. I guess step one is I need to pick these panels up because we're going to put the stand right here. So I'm going to get these picked up, pick up all the stuff around it, get this area kind of prepped. I need to mow a little bit and then we're going to start setting it up. Yo, I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put some pavers down on the feet to give it some sort of grip. That way it doesn't sink in the grass and that's it. So get this thing scrubbed down and painted and get some panels mounted. See how she looks. That one over there looks amazing. So I guess next we gotta do one for this. Plus I have those other two panels still in the garage. So we'll see. All right guys, check it out. We got the stand completely done. In fact, I ended up making another one. So we actually have three of these now total, each holding two panels. And as you can see, I have four panels back here, the two right here three right there and one on the porch so we are currently running all 10 panels on my solar power system which is awesome but yeah these stands they're super easy to make and they're not super expensive i still got to finish painting this one i just ran out of paint but we got three of them done so i think i'm gonna do another two or maybe i'll do one large one that's maybe four not quite sure yet i do like the idea of having two on each one because i can individually adjust where they're at and you can see what i was talking about with the pavers i do got to kind of tidy up the wire a little bit but I am super, super happy with this. It's a lot better than having them just laying in the yard, which I had them for months, and they worked fine like that, but that's not the correct way to do it. This is, in my opinion, a lot better. So we have some nice sturdy stands. They're mounted nicely, and I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm getting right around three kilowatts of output at full sun, so that's pretty good. I probably need to go through and clean all the panels. And like I said, we need to focus on this next, but I'm gonna leave this here just for now until I can get some more materials. So probably here in the next couple weeks, we're probably gonna build two more stands and that's it, we'll be completely done. And then we can work on some better wiring. I need to work on a pass through to go in the house instead of using the window and that's it. So that's gonna do it for this small little video. I just wanted to show you guys my easy, simple way to do panel mounting. Let me know what y'all think. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna suck? In the winter, it'll be interesting because the sun is so low in the sky. I will, we will definitely keep track of how much power we make, but as long as it's still within a realm of usability, I'm not gonna care too much. 
as far as trying to adjust the angle but that's gonna do it guys thank you all very much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one